physicist and a professor at UC Irvine, and I love to smash things together to figure out what they're made out of. Welcome to our podcast, Daniel, and explain the perfection of I Heart Radio. In which we try to smash your brain together with the whole universe. We think that there are so many things to understand there, and we want to bring your brain together with all those questions and give you some understanding of how things work. So today we're breaking down some of the biggest collisions in the universe. That's kind of a picky word to use BS because, especially in business, that can mean a lot of things. <laughs> like it can mean biggest in size, it can mean biggest in speed, or biggest just in terms of the impact it may have on our planet. Or biggest in drama, right? Oh, I see. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing for drama. <laughs> So uh, what would you say are some of the biggest collisions in the universe? Well, we do some pretty fast collisions here on Earth. Uh, we accelerate protons to almost the speed of light and smash them together underground in Switzerland. So you got a proton going at the speed of light this way, proton going at the speed of light this way. That's a pretty dramatic collision. That's pretty big stuff. That's the big, maybe one of the biggest experiments humans have ever done. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the most expensive and one of the biggest <laughs> experiments. So I'm here, I'm basically a shill for big collision because it's my day job. And you said you smash protons together, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which are tiny little particles that are part of the atom. So every, we're, we're all made out of atoms, of course, and the atoms are made out of stuff inside of them, including electrons and protons. Yeah, so we take hydrogen, which is a proton and electron, we pull away the electron because we're not interested, and then we just smash the protons, the hydrogen nuclei together. And sometimes just like proton debris comes out, and sometimes weird new stuff comes out. What do you mean weird new stuff? <laughs> well, one of the amazing things about collisions with particles is that what comes out doesn't just have to be a rearrangement of what went in. You can actually annihilate it and turn it into something new, like a Higgs boson or a photon or a Z boson or something you didn't even know existed. Now, how do you smash these protons together? Do you have like slingshots that you <laughs> pull, pull back and then you, two scientists stand in front of each other and then pull back and smash the protons together? How does that work? Now, we take the protons and we push them really hard with electric fields and then we bend them with magnets so they go around in a circle. And we do that over and over and over again until they're going really, really fast. And we have another beam going the other direction and then we cross them. So that's one of maybe the, one of the fastest collisions that we know about as scientists in the universe. And it's weird because we actually are making that collision. But it actually doesn't even compete with what the universe is already doing all the time. Wait, what? You mean there are things in the universe smashing close to each, to each, it's each other faster than twice the speed of light? Absolutely. The universe is filled with huge particle accelerators that are throwing particles at us that are colliding with the Earth much faster than the particles are moving in the Hadron Collider. Okay, so that's maybe an another type of, of collision of things smashing together that we can talk about is uh, cosmic rays coming from space. Exactly. Cosmic rays are a fancy word, but they just mean particles in space zipping towards the Earth and then smashing into the atmosphere like tiny little meteors. Now, these things normally would be kind of dangerous, right? Like if you're hit by one of the, even, even though they're tiny particles, if it's going fast enough and it hits you, it can actually kind of... Um, not be good for you. The atmosphere is like a blanket that protects us. They hit the atmosphere and they bounce against particles in the atmosphere and they lose a little bit of energy. By the time they get down to the surface, instead of having one particle with a lot of energy, you have like trillions with a little bit of energy. So we see these big showers of particles hit the surface of the Earth. All right, so then it's a good thing we have our atmosphere to protect us from these cosmic rays. Yeah, from, it's like a shield. The big dangerous universe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if you're in atmosphere, you go out into space, you really need to think about shielding uh, because there's a lot of crazy stuff out there in space. Maybe you think about space as being empty, but really it's filled with high energy particles whizzing all around. It's quite dangerous. Asteroids, rocks from space that come flying towards the Earth, they kind of get burned up in our atmosphere because they hit that air and then they create all that friction and then they burn up before they hit the Earth, right? Yeah, the atmosphere is like a big buffer and if the rock isn't too big or going too fast, then it melts in the atmosphere. Sort of the way like space...